Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. And this week we have a first story that is kind of concerning with a bill in Congress that is going to affect all UAS operators. Uh, AMA clubs also get higher altitude authorization in class golf airspace. We have DJI launching new enterprise accessories. And then also we have Para Zero releasing a new parachute system for the Matrice 4 series. Let's get to it. And first up this week, a bill from the Senate, Senate Bill 1249 in Congress, is proposing to change how navigable airspace is defined and would give the first 200 feet from the ground 200 feet to the states to basically do whatever they want with it and then to private property owners. Now, the bill also gives mandatory standoff distances from structures, including 200 feet laterally and 50 feet over the top of any structures. Now, sadly, this is not a new idea. Five years ago, we actually spent a lot of time uh, fighting something that was very similar that was proposed by the Uniform Law Commission, or the ULC. Uh, this was eventually shut down. I hope this is also going to get shut down. Now, this is obviously a terrible idea for many reasons, but um, this is proposed by U.S. Senator Mike Lee uh, from Utah, which, if you've been following us for a while, has a tendency and a history of proposing bills that would severely limit UAS operations. So uh, please reach out to your senators and representative, and uh, this is going to affect all UAS operators if it goes anywhere near uh, signature. But uh, this includes drones, model airplanes, FPV, helicopters, anything that you want to think about that's going to be flying in the airspace. Next up this week, some news for recreational flyers who also fly at an AMA field, the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Uh, the AMA has announced that they've secured a national authorization that allows their members to fly at designated club sites that are within class golf airspace uh, to operate above the standard 400 foot limit, uh, which is 400 foot AGL above ground level. And that limit would be uh, going, depending on the class golf and how it's defined in that area, up to 700 feet AGL or even 1,200 feet AGL. Now, it's not automatic for every site. The clubs are going to need to obtain a copy of the specific authorization and make sure that they meet all of the criteria that are outlined in that form which quite frankly are not uh, all that many criteria. Uh, club officers should keep a copy of the form handy as well. Now, the AMA has a guide to help you determine the specific altitude for a specific site in the United States and say that they'll be releasing an FAQ very soon. Uh, this is an interesting step, uh, especially for recreational flyers, which uh, usually are not allowed to have any sort of waiver approved. Uh, so yeah, the uh, this is something new and available for drone enthusiasts that are flying at those, those uh, different places. Now, I want to add to this because I know it's going to come out. Uh, this is not for anyone and everyone that flies recreationally. Uh, this is only available at certain locations in the United States. And third up this week, DJI has expanded its enterprise payload lineup with two new accessories that are aimed at public safety and inspection users. Uh, they've launched the Zenmuse S1 Spotlight and then the Zenmuse V1 Speakers. Uh, the uh, S1 Spotlight is designed for the Matrice 300 RTK and the 350 RTK platforms. Uh, it's a high intensity light source with an effective illumination range of up to 150 meters. Uh, that's about almost 500 feet for those that use the other unit. And then it features features adjustable brightness levels and can synchronize the angle with the gimbal movement. Uh, we've seen this on other lights in the past. Uh, this is going to help keep the light focus where the camera is actually looking, uh, which is really neat. And then the Zenmuse V1 speaker, which is compatible with the 300 and the 350 uh, series of Matrice. Now, this isn't your average Bluetooth speaker. It actually has a maximum volume of 120 decibels and an effective range of 100 meters, 330 some feet uh, at a typical 75 decibel. Now it supports text-to-speech conversion, audio storage, and in real-time playback, making it really useful to broadcast really instructions, warnings during any types of emergencies. Uh, these kind of accessories really are going to, I think, help uh, enterprise users just uh, get it, uh, get their team to the next level using these drones. And finally, this week, ParaZero, uh, that is known for their uh, drone safety systems, has launched a Safe Air M4 uh, parachute recovery system which is designed for the Matrice 4 series of drones. Uh, the press release says that the uh, Safe Air M4 meets the requirements of ASTM F3222-22 standards uh, for the parachutes and to be used in operations over people, or OOP for short. 
Now, having a parachute system that meets this standard is often the key component for getting regulatory approval for more advanced operation like operations over people. So the parachute features the ParaZero's autonomous triggering technology, which is going to detect any kind of flight anomalies and potential crashes and deploy the parachute automatically. Uh, it includes an independent flight termination system, FTS for short, that is going to cut the power to the drone motors, uh, which is another critical safety requirement for those that uh, for these kinds of operations that uh, you're going to be using the parachute for. Now, you can see the images here uh, of the system, which is fairly low profile. Uh, the specific weight wasn't actually announced in the initial announcement, uh, but the system usually adds around 500 grams or so to a typical drone. This is another option available out there uh, in addition to the AVSS parachute that we've talked about in the future for that specific platform. And then join us later for a happy hour in the community. Uh, we will have actually a really cool tour of the new facility uh, that we are in. I think it's at the point now where we can show most of it. Uh, and then also we have post flight discussion that's gonna happen on Monday along with the live Q&A. Uh, so make sure you join us and we'll see you then. Mm -hmm.